Today we're going to be learning about the loop block. Uh, we're going to be creating a square, uh, having our robot uh, loop repeatedly to create a square uh, using the loop block. All right, so let's let's go ahead and open up our um, programs. So we got a new project program open and. Here we have our loop block, so we'll put that there. And uh, what we're going to have our uh, robot do uh, when we create this is we're going to have it go straight and then turn. Uh, so the first thing we do, it says, is uh, we can put these right in the block, or you can create your loops. You can put the loop on the side too. <clears throat> Make sure everything works correctly. So we're going to take two move steering blocks, one that goes straight and one that's going to turn. This one they have on for seconds and we have it for three seconds. And this one we have on degrees. Now I have it go 100. And then that's 280 degrees. Uh, these are at 40. So I have 0, 3 seconds, 100, uh, 280 degrees. This is just the power. The more power you have, the faster it'll go. All right, so now that we have these created, uh, we put these inside our loop block. So what's going to happen here is it's going to start, it's going to go through our program, and then it's going to loop, and it's going to continue doing that. So it should go straight, uh, turn right, go straight, turn right, go straight, turn right over and over again infinitely and you could you can go ahead and test this out on your robot once you get this made um, and we're gonna call this all right we're gonna call this the square and then we're gonna once you test it uh, you go ahead and you modify it and we're gonna do uh, play a note and then say goodbye and we're gonna have it loop four times so that you get a, a square so it's going to play a note, it's going to go through this loop four times, and then it's going to say goodbye at the end. So let's go ahead and modify our program now. Put a sound there. Change this to count four times. Change this to the word square, just so we just so we know that's four, and then uh, we get a little sound over here at the end. Goodbye. So it says goodbye. Play till 440, 0.5, 100. Okay, so this is our one square program. So we're going to have it play a a note. Now it's going to go straight. It's going to turn right. Go straight. Turn right. Go straight. Turn right. Go straight. Turn right. And then say goodbye and stop. So you can go ahead and try this program and see how that goes. We're going to modify it some more. All right. So now we're going to put a loop 
on the outside of it. And what's this going to do is this is going to go through four times, say goodbye, and then it's going to start over and go four times and say goodbye. Um, they get rid of this, but you could keep the note if you wanted to. Uh, it really doesn't make a difference. We don't have to have the loops back to back. So let's let's go ahead and see how we can do this with a loop. Another add another loop, an endless loop. Say it says goodbye, makes a square and says goodbye endlessly. And this is our infinite square program. So we have our one square program and then our infinite square program. So let's go ahead, file, save project as one square put your name on it mr. noon one square make sure it's in your documents file save now we're going to get another loop we're gonna put all these all these inside that loop all right, so this one's unlimited, infinite. All right, so this was the same program we had before, except with the one square, it creates one square, says goodbye and stops. And with the infinite, it creates one square. It, it makes a tone, goes straight and turns four times, then it says goodbye, and then it goes all the way back and starts over. Plays a tone, goes through the steps, says goodbye, plays a tone, makes a square, says goodbye. So this one continues forever. And what we're going to call this is the infinite square program. So we're going to hit file, save project as, infinite square all right so we have our one square and we have our infinite square and now I'll show you how this uh, works when you run it all right so let's take a look at our one square program and see how it runs so it'll play a note it'll go uh, to four straight and then turns and then at the end it'll shut off and then it'll say goodbye now you might want to uh, play with your numbers or tweak them because 280 was given to us in the book for the program but for your robot specifications that uh, rotation of the wheel to turn right might be a different number than 280 it might be lower like 200 or 210 or 220 so go ahead and play with the numbers to see if you can get a good right turn so it plays a note it goes straight it turns right it turns right again you can see that it doesn't always turn perfectly right. And then it says goodbye at the end. Now let's take a look at our infinite squares. So this will do the same program where it plays a note, makes a square, says goodbye, and then I'll start over again. And it'll do this infinitely. Note, turn right, straight, turn right. We'll do that four times. says goodbye. Now it continues again. And it'll do this until the batteries run out. So you go ahead and try these programs and see if you can get them to work correctly.